welcome back to my channel it's muji here so you've just been admitted to etsu congratulations this video is for you or you're looking for a uni and you just came across this video or you want to go to etsu then you should keep watching because i'm going to tell you some things you need to know before coming to etsu So I have most of the points on my laptop, so in case you just see, you know, looking down here, it's my laptop I'm looking at. Okay, first we have the official stuff, you know, tuition fees and hostel fees and all the fees. The number of faculty, the departments that we have in the state University, all of that is on their website. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So if you need any information on tuition fee, make sure you check their website. Now let's talk about the first point here. We are not allowed to stay off campus, unfortunately. Everyone has to stay on campus. We have three different types of accommodation. We have regular, we have premium, and we have executive, which is now known as premium villa. Okay, so the first hostel, which is premium, it's five in a room, and it's really nice. There's water, there's light, nice hostel. Then the next hostel is executive. There's six in a room, and you're allowed to cook this hostel so if you love to cook you can choose that hostel then the third hostel is regular hostel regular hostel there's six in a room it's quite affordable as well there's two more room but that's only available for boys we don't have that option for girls i know i don't know why so the next point is the dressing you're supposed to wear corporate to class you know corporate shirts trousers skirts Dresses, blue jean, a lot of class, wear covered shoes and sandals. Then in the evenings, you can wear your know, blues, jeans, whatever you want to wear in the evenings. That if you're not going to class, you can wear whatever you want to wear. It's hairstyle, you can do any hairstyle you want. I, I don't think you have a problem with that. For makeup, you can wear makeup. I mean, I don't know, people don't really wear makeup to class. But if you want, I guess I go like You don't even have time. That was the truth. You don't have time. Let's say you have like photo shoots or events or something. You can definitely be able to Okay, so the next point now is the food. You might be wondering, okay, if you can't cook in you know premium or regular, how do they eat or what do they eat? Okay, so basically, there are canteens in all hostels, including the executive. There are canteens everywhere. So they are actually very nice. No, no all shawarma, but some. So yeah, if you like shawarma, don't worry. We have with it. It's all shawarma, suya, indomie spots, different things. So you get tired even. But see, if you don't know how to do same thing, your money will finish on top of food. You can bring your provisions if you want. Okay, so the next point, if you want to leave school, you need to take exit. You can't just go to the gate and say, I want to go out. So nobody's going to be from you in school. If you want to leave, you just to make sure you take exit. That is just to know your whereabouts and all. There are certain rules you have to follow. If you break from all the rules, you take it to parallel and it may lead to suspension, expulsion. Make sure like, you follow their rules. Example, you know. No one don't do drugs, don't smoke. And obviously don't fight. Don't don't fight, especially with students or staff. Don't don't fight. Okay. The next point is social activities. <laughs> See, we got you covered. Hey. Especially in seven semester, back to back. There's no See, you will forget that you're in school. We have parties, we have cultural day, we have concerts. If you watch my previous video on that, make sure you, you know, click the link and watch that. And also the sports, we have different sports facilities. So the next point is what you should bring. So you're not supposed to bring anything bottle, like bottle granules, bottle bama, and stuff like that. So make sure you try not to bring these things. You can bring torch lights because sometimes there's no light. I mean, even though you have promises for hours, lights, come on, this is Nigeria. Who knows from so many promises for hours? Like, okay, bring torch. Bring power bank because power bank is very essential in Nigeria right now. Sometimes there's no water. So try to upstairs, like the top floor. 
to make sure everyone is so through working so that I use you can fetch water down if there is no water. Okay, also this is from like my last point, there's a curfew. You have to be in your hostel by 7 pm. You can be like in the compound of your hostel. Just don't be like outside the gates by 7 pm. So I really hope all these points are actually very clear. And if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll be sure to reply your questions.